what is popping you guys okay so um i just wanted to make you guys aware that i am actually currently offering personal readings so if you're interested in getting a personal reading from yours truly then just go down below and um the information will be down there but to give you a little like quickie <laughs> understanding of what's going on um all you do is you send me a cash app or a venmo telling me that it's for a reading and then um you give me your information through either instagram twitter or email to so i can send you the reading and um yeah you just you know it can be on love career past life or any specific questions that you may have and it's completely donation based so you just give what you can give um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy today's reading and i'll see you guys in the next one bye hello water signs okay so if you read the uh title of this video then you know that this is actually a reading for all the water signs all right so let me tell you which one is your pile so this is pisces the nightingale will be the pisces pile panther is our scorpios and oyster is our cancers so go down below to get your correct pile but yes nightingale is pisces panther is scorpio and oyster is cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. All right. Once you pick your pile, we will get into the reading. Hello, Pisces. We are starting off with you since this is your month. Um, alrighty, so your guys' overall energy for this month is going to be the Nightingale, which is a fearless voice, speech, communication, or song. The song of the Nightingale is outerwardly. This simple brown bird almost unnoticeably among the flesh the flashy plunge plumage of other birds transports its listener to the realm of poetry nightingale energy is with us when we write compose and especially when we sing it reminds us that the music heals the deepest wounds this card indicates a need to open the bridge between the heart and the voice is there something you need to say how long has it been since you sang turn it up write it down and let it out when in balance sing speaks freely with kindness when out of balance shy lump in a threat and a lump in the throat sorry notice how it's very hard for me to talk um and then to bring into balance music okay so with the nightingale energy i feel like you guys this month are definitely going to be finding your inner voice when it comes to how to express your guys' emotions this month and it makes a lot of sense because we all do have a lot of pisces placements this month when it comes to our moon and everything so you guys are really going to feel aligned with oneself this month um you're definitely going to feel like you're going to have the ability to you know, just say what it is that you need to say and um, to sing your song. I feel like you guys are going to have the ability to sing your song this month, which is a very beautiful thing because I feel like you guys have not been able to do that in previous months. Okay, I've already pre-shuffled um, your cards, so we're just going to lay them out for you here. Okay, just going to lay out your cards. We are using the wizard tarot for you guys. All right. And we also have themes for this month. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, for your tarot this month, It looks like you're going to be going into things more intuitively this month. You're going to be using your intuition more often this month. Um, there's definitely going to be a feeling of inner knowing. Um, but the thing is, is that you will feel a bit discouraged at times because I feel like there's going to be moments where your intuition doesn't lead you to the correct path but what you need to understand is that the correct path is your path because that's the path that you chose you understand what I'm saying um so even if you um make a mistake and you don't get the outcome that you want it's still the outcome that you were meant to get because that is the choice that you made that is the choice that you made in your outcome you know what I mean in your path um okay so for your tarot this month it just mainly looks like you guys are going to be following in the same footsteps you guys aren't really going to be learning anything new or doing anything new um it definitely feels like it's going to be the same routine that you're used to 
Um, you're, you're not going to feel as encumbered as you once did in other months. And it's also going to feel like you guys are using more of your intuition and more of what you truthfully want out of situations. Um, you guys are, are kind of ready for the battle at this point. You guys um, understand when to tell people like to leave you alone. I feel like you're also going to have a better um, option when it comes to just what you do with your time. I feel like you guys aren't going to be wasting your time as much as you have in previous months. Um, there's definitely going to be an understanding of what it is that you want this month. I feel like you guys are going to be very in tune with nature this month as well. Um, not so much when it comes to like, you guys aren't going to be staying in the house a lot. I feel like you guys are going to be one with nature, maybe even one with your sexuality. I sense a lot of, um, just happiness with oneself and happiness with, you know, your surroundings and not necessarily people in your surroundings, but just surroundings. Um, there's just going to be a lot of freedom this month and there's going to be a lot of freedom to do the things that you truthfully want to do. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with nature and a lot of it has to do with being out in the open and, you know, kind of finding where it is that you need to be in between paths. I feel like you're going to know where it is you need to go because you're going to be right in between. You know, you're not going to be on one side or the other side. You're going to be right in between each path. Um, no one's going to be stopping you this month. You are definitely in charge this month. You are definitely in charge of your destiny this month. Very, very much. Um, and you're not going to be doing it in a way of of that's, that's going to displease other people. You're doing it in a way that is beneficial to both you and those around you. And there's just going to be an overall understanding of where it is that you stand with yourself and with what it is that you just are in necessary and in need of for in life when it comes to March. Um, I feel like you guys are going to have a very good understanding of what it is that you want in March. Um, I feel like, let's see. Birthdays are going to feel just right or just bad. It's not going to be overtly amazing and overtly bad. It's going to be just the right amount of good or just the right amount of bad. I feel like it's going to be just the smallest thing that could make your birthday make it or break it type situation. Um, it's not going to be an amazing birthday, but it's also not going to be a shitty birthday. And it's not going to be a shitty birthday, but it's also not going to be an amazing birthday. You understand what I'm saying? You guys are going to be right in the middle of everything. You guys are in the middle of... of of just your situations, you're in the middle of everything. Like you're you're stuck in between two people or two things in, in this entire month. Like there's something like you are the mediator. You are the mediator this month. You feel like the the just the middle of this month. Um You're definitely going to feel free. You're going to feel freer to speak and freer to be yourself. And just freer to like be one with you. I feel like you're definitely going to want to be out in the um, open more. And you're definitely going to want to be in your surroundings more. And just be one with yourself more. Um, and you're not going to feel like you're wasting your time when doing these things either. It's not going to feel like time is running out or time is stopped or anything. It's just going to feel like time is time and I'm doing this with my time and I enjoy what it is that I'm doing with my time and nothing feels like a waste because this is what I chose to do today um and you're gonna be very 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 in motion and you're gonna be I feel like there's gonna be a beautiful yin yang for you this month like you're really gonna understand what it is that you want to do this month and you're gonna feel very um alert and you're gonna feel very um you're just going to feel like a yin yang. Like there's no bad, there's no good, there's only middle. It's going to be very warm, very lukewarm, very, very just in the middle. It's going to be in the middle, you know? It's going to be room temperature. It's just going to, it's going to be everything that you need and everything that you don't need all at the same time. Like it's just, but it's going to work beautifully and it's, and it's going to come together and you are the perpetrator of this month. You know what I mean? You are the middle of this month. And you're going to be in the middle for the entire, for the entirety of it. It's, it's not going to feel good or bad. It's just going to be, it's just going to be, it's going to be your month. It's going to be a month where you're going to feel most in balance. Um, 
and you're going to feel so in balance because of how out of balance you are. Um, you're going to be doing things that are different than what you're used to. You know, you're used to going out with friends. You're used to hanging out with people. You're used to staying in inside, you know, and watching TV, watching movies, being, you know, being with yourself in this way. But I feel like you're going to learn how to be with yourself in nature. And that's why it's going to feel so different to you. And it's going to feel very new and just kind of exciting because you're not used to it. But it's still something that you're used to, but you're not used to, you know. Because you're used to being with yourself, but you're just not used to the surroundings that you're yourself with right now, right now. Um, yeah, and you're just going to be saying more. Saying more for yourself, you know, doing more for yourself. Um, let's see. I just want to give you guys an advice card. This is the only deck that I'm going to be shuffling, uh, you know, here on camera. Because I just want to give you an overall advice for this month. Let's see. What overall advice can I give Pisces this month of March? What overall advice do we have for Pisces this month of March? There are going to be situations where you feel like you know what's going on, but in reality you don't. Um, you don't actually really know everything that's going on in a situation, and I feel like that's definitely going to be... That's definitely going to be a blow to you because you, you you thought your intuition was right about something or maybe it's your intuition that's correct about something and it's your vision that's not. You need to stop thinking about things very logically this month. This month is not the month for logic. This month is the month for intuition. It's the month for you to really be listening to yourself and your inner knowing. Um, you got to stop listening to perceptions of other things or other people you got to really listen to what it is that you know um and it's also not no intellectually it's like no just because you just know it like you like it's just like a feeling where it's like no like i know for a fact that this is what it is it's, it's your intuition you really really got to listen to your intuition this month and i feel like you will i feel like you definitely will become one with your intuition this month You'll feel so, so, like, in tune with your intuition that you're almost ready to fight in a battle because of it. Because you're just so assertive of it. You're so sure of it. Can I please have advice for this Okay. Advice for Pisces this month. One more advice card for Pisces. Yeah, this is your month for for um, astral projection, honey. Like, this is the month for you to really be doing things for your inner knowing. Um, you have star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. You have cult, soul gifts, and training. It's time to set up. And then you have lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before. So you know, I feel like you are going to open up a door for yourself this month and it's going to be a door within your within your spiritual realm and within like what it is that you truthfully understand about the world and about earth itself um, and about the universe I feel like you're definitely going to become one with you and with your ancestors and just like this is the month for you to truthfully understand who you are and who it is that you want to be and who it is that you will become um and who it is that you were before as well. Like this is the month for you to truthfully understand yourself and understand who you are. And this is the month for you to do it. I feel like it's definitely going to obviously continue on to the next months. But this is the month where it's the most prominent. And it's probably because this is like a birth month. You know, this is the month of Pisces. Um, I know that there were some birthdays, you know, uh, in January as well. But Pisces is still very much in this month as well. And I just feel like you're going to really understand who you are as a person, like who you truthfully are as you. Um, 
and you're going to have to go through that door and I feel like a meditation is going to be a very very beautiful thing for you also definitely go and become one with your element you definitely need to um I feel like you need to become one with your element but also understand the other elements around you as well I feel like one of the best ways to do that is uh to do something that involves all four uh you know on the simpler terms it can be smoking weed you know because you have water you have air you have you know earth with the weed and then you have fire with you know the flame um it can also be a bonfire at the beach you know you have earth with the wood you have fire with the flame and you have you know the water right there next to you and you have air which is helping the flame grow um and also air is all around you um but i feel like you definitely need to become one with all of the elements for you to really understand the things that you need to understand this month um and also just keep being one with water definitely take your showers you under you know take your take your long showers um definitely go to the beach maybe swim around a little bit just be in water but i feel like you really really need to become one with all elements of life today um and also sand sand is also a very prominent thing for you definitely go to the beach maybe have a bonfire at the beach i feel like a bonfire at the beach will be very beneficial for you this month um it's just something that feels like it's it's necessary necessary for you this month. I feel like you you need it. You need to be one with people and one with you, but like still have it be like an intimate thing with yourself, but you're still with other people. You know what I mean? It's like the perfect amount of of uh of like interaction, but also non-interaction. Like I feel like it's it's like I said it's that perfect middle ground. Um but yeah, definitely be around sand, be around earth. Um, sand is definitely going to be something very important for you this month because we, we have sand imagery in just about every other one of these cards. Um, and also just earth in general. Maybe you'll meet an earth sign. Maybe, maybe, maybe you'll just become more in tune with your earthy side. You'll learn how to ground yourself a bit more. Um, but just like with sand, you know, sand isn't forever grounding, you know what I mean? Sand moves and it flows and it's, it's just like water. It's the water of, 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 of earth, you know? So definitely, definitely know that you will be grounded this month. I feel like you'll, you'll start to really understand yourself this month and understand why and who it is you are the person that you are. But yeah, that's your guys' reading for this month. Um, I hopefully it resonated and um, yeah, just have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you guys later, Pisces. All right, bye. Hello, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, you guys got Panther. The, annihil the annihilation of the unnecessary and purging. The Panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us towards more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the Panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences and they've made us better people. Trust that the Panther journey always leads to a brighter place. When in balance, brave and protective, when out of balance, self-destructive, to bring into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. So just from this card alone, it sounds like the Panther energy, which is you guys, uh, Scorpios, this month. It sounds like you guys are going to definitely be getting rid of just everything that is unnecessary for yourself this month. So you can have a clear and clean slate for the month of April. Um, it sounds like you guys are definitely looking at your predator in the eye and telling them, hey, fucker, I don't want you to be in my life anymore. And you guys are taking a motherfucking bite and you guys are doing anything to fight for your life right now. Um, you guys are just in that energy of this is my turf and this is what I want for my future and this is what I want today and this is what I want now and so I'm going to go and get it because I don't need this unnecessary bull crap in my life. I just I want to be happy and I want to do my life and I want to do what I want to do. Um very scorpion of you guys. Um I've already pre-shuffled your guys's cards. I've already pre-done it uh to try and you know save time for you guys so I can just get you guys your information that you would like and that you need. Um So, here's your tarot. And then here are your oracles. Okay. Don't worry, I will flip them over for you in just a moment. And you guys actually got um, six cards. So, okay. So for your tarot, here it is. 
and that's definitely it. You guys are not worried about shit anymore. Um, and this month you're not going to be working as hard, but the reason why is because you're trying to get rid of people that you don't really want to be in your life anymore. You're going to try and, um, just be more, how do I explain this? You're going to be more in tune with yourself, but not necessarily like, um, spiritually or anything but just more like I don't need these people and these people don't make me happy so I'm gonna have a fight and I'm gonna win that fight and then I'm gonna go and find new people to be around um it kind of sounds like you're starting to realize that the memories that you once had with these people are not memories that you really want to keep uh they're not really things that you want to keep they're not really uh pieces of art that you want to keep they're nothing that you want to keep um You love having fun with these people. You love fucking around with these people. But they're not people that you will make a mixtape for. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you'll gladly listen to music for like with them. But you won't make, make a mixtape for these people. Like, you don't care about these people like that. You don't really want these people in your life like that. You don't want to send off that type of um, energy. And so I feel like you're going to start really cutting off people. And you're going to feel the need to do so because you don't want to get stuck stupid in this childish endeavor when you don't feel like being in a childish endeavor. Um, you just, you want to feel more... There's a desire for growth and there's a desire for... Um, maturity and there's a desire for just uh knowing for just inner knowing and knowing more um and I feel like with the current people that you are associating yourself with you feel this sense of you feel like the sense of just um Why do I have to take care of all these people? Why do I have to um, give them my every single last drop of energy when I'm not getting that back? Why do I have to... And that's the thing is that you don't have to. And I feel like this month that's when you will start to learn that, hey, I'm putting way too much work and way too much energy into something that is not beneficial to me um I don't want to have these memories and I don't want to have this type of friendship and I don't want to feel the way that I currently feel in this um there's a lot of arguments and there's a lot of like not being on the right terms and not being on the correct terms and there's just a lot of past problems that cope with these people they're not they're not nightmares anymore and they're not something that engulf you anymore but there's just something that that it's just it's like a scratch that you can't itch you know it's it's like oh i just wish it wasn't there anymore like i wish i could somehow alleviate this i wish i could let go of it i wish i could get rid of it and i feel like you'll be able to get rid of it this month because this month is when you'll finally break you'll finally realize that this is not what you want because I feel like you're you're pickling yourself up right now and you don't want to pickle yourself up. You don't want to feel old. You don't want to feel, you know, vinegary and just, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to feel all bitter and sour and gross. Like you don't want to feel that way. Don't get me wrong. I love pickles, but it's one of those things where I feel like only certain amounts of people really want to be near you because I feel like you're in this energy of just like you're tired. You're just very tired. You're tired of having to pick up other people's slack and you want to be able to have some more fun for yourself again. You want to be able to do fun, stupid little things for you. And I feel like those, these people don't allow you to do that. Or I feel like maybe your partner doesn't allow you to do that. Or just someone in your life is not allowing you to truthfully live your life the way that you want to live your life. And it could be something as simple as just having nuggets for breakfast. Like I feel like there's just someone or something that is stopping you from being able to to express yourself the way you want to express yourself this month but once you go through this difficult time 
you will see the fruit of your labor. You will see the beauty in life again once you go through this. Once you go through this mild, mini, like tiny, tiny, tiny situation. Like it's tiny in the sense of just like it's genuinely not that big of a deal. It might be a big deal to you in the moment, but it's genuinely not that big of a deal. But once you go through that, you will start to see the beauty in this month. And you'll want to listen to music again. Yeah, because you're just tired of being the one to talk. You're tired of being the one that has to say things. Like, I'm already getting tired just from talking right now. And I feel like that's because this is your guys' energy right now. You're just so tired of having to, to, to just... You're just tired. You're tired. That's literally it. You're just so tired. You want to be able to... to not even relax. You just you just don't want to have to feel this way anymore. And I feel like it's people that are making you feel this way. Or even your job. Maybe it's your job and people at your job. But you don't want to feel this way. Because it's not engulfing your every thought and it's not engulfing your every minute. But it is something that is bothering you for this month oh i'm getting sleepy but it is something that is bothering you for this month it's it's definitely um putting a wrench in your in your just in your situation like it's just putting a wrench in your situation of being alive like it's just it's making things just a little bit hard for you um, I would definitely recommend listening to music this month and becoming like more connected with like just things that enjoy that you enjoy that you can control because I feel like there's certain things that you can't control and you want to somehow find the enjoyment in those things but you can't control that so why are you trying to find the enjoyment in that just try and find the enjoyment in things that you can control like you can you can control your diet you can control what you eat you can control what it is you spend your time listening to you can control movies and memories that you want to remember and stuff like there's things that you can control so control those stop trying to control things that are out of your control Unless you want to get in an argument. And granted, once you get in that argument, you will get to a better place. But it's up to you whether you want to do this or not. Okay, some advice for you. This is the only deck that I'm going to be shuffling. Um... May I please get some advice? Advice for Scorpio this month. I'll go with this one. Yeah, okay, see? The great serving, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. I feel like the thing that you guys are... I'm sensing that there is this annoying person that is obsessed with you currently and you want them to stop obsessing over you. But all you're doing by having that energy is you're making yourself an ugly person to be around. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you're making yourself to be a very annoying person to be around because of that fact. Um, and especially because you're not being, you're not being communicative. Like you're not willing to go through the conflict to be able to resolve it. Like you, you don't want to go through that conflict, but yet you're still complaining about the fact that someone's bugging you. Um, and you also, I feel like you need to feel your emotions more. You're not really feeling your emotions. I feel like you're closing yourself off to your emotions. You just, you want it to just go away. But what you don't understand is that for it to go away, you got to cry a river first. For, for, that, for that rock to move, you need a couple, you need some water to make it move. You understand what I'm saying? Like the river is empty right now. And I feel like the thing is, is that you're, you're expecting motion when there's nothing to cause that motion. Um... 
And yeah, you're just not, you're not, you're not creating enough, which is why word art is upside down and which is why I feel like developed photography is also upside down. I feel like you're not doing what you truthfully want to do as much this, this month. And I don't, and I think it's because of the situation, which is why I'm telling you that once you, once you get that situation out of the way, you will have the opportunity to be able to create, to do, to, to magnify, to whatever, everything and anything that you would want, but you can't get there until you're done with this and I feel like you need to be done with this conflict before you can get and move on to what it is that you truthfully want to do at the end of this month because your life is your canvas you get to paint it however you want and do whatever you want and right now you're painting it with the fuggliest fucking colors because that's what you think will will somehow turn out to be like the best artwork but what you don't understand is that the best artwork is the artwork that you make with the colors that you want to make it with and i i don't think you want to make it with fugly ass colors i think you want to make it with pretty colors but right now you're just picking the fugly ones because that's what you have at your hands but what you need to understand is that you can change that all you have to do is just take the color off the palette and then put different colors on it and try a new way. And I feel like your new way is by having that conflict. Because I don't think you, you're used to having conflict. You're not used to being the one that takes a stance in things. And so this is definitely new and, and like, it, it, you know, a bit frightening for you. Because you're going into some a place that you don't really know. But you're going into that place to then be able to come out the other side in a in a in a new place where you can kind of understand it a little bit better and notice how it's also changing the way that it looks for you you know what i mean you gotta go through the void to be able to come out on the on the other side of things i mean right now you're in the desert you're you know you're gasping for water gasping for air hoping to find a village somewhere when it's like you'll never find a village in the sand you will never find a village in the sand especially not at the rate that you're going at what do you need to do you gotta you gotta take a nap you gotta stop walking you gotta take a nap and you gotta think you gotta think about your next step and once you think about your next step which is more than likely going to be a conflict for you then that's when you'll wake up and then whoa what the fuck happened oh my god turns out i was just imagining all of this dirt and sand because of how tired i was and how insomniac i was that now i get to actually see the true reality of things which is oh my god i'm actually in a forest and there's a river right down the road and there's beautiful trees and there's beautiful things that i can eat and there's fruit everywhere and it's just it, it there everything is anything that i would want it to be i was just too tired to see it You have the ability to see what it is that you need to see. You just, I feel like you just need to, you need to recharge and you need to do something that you're not too excited about having to do. But once you do it, you will reach, you will reach, you know, that, that, that golden moment, the, the, you'll reach your cups. You'll reach the, the, the thing that you truthfully want this month. Eight and eighteenth also sound like very important numbers for some reason. Um, but yeah, this is definitely this is definitely one of your months for you. For you to start your new path onto the thing that you truthfully want in April. This month is going to help you get closer to your goals in April. If you do it now, it will be quicker next month. You understand what I'm saying? But if you don't do this now, then it won't be quicker next month. But you just got to get this done. You got to get this over with. Um, but yeah, that's your cards for this month. And I hope you guys really enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, Scorpios. Hello, Cancer. You guys are the oyster. 
Okay, patient, secret keeper, hiding inner treasures. The focus and uh, the focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. When in balance, feels blessed, generous, and masterful. When out of balance, reluctant, gripping, clams up. To bring into balance, share something. Okay. So this month, I feel like the theme for this month is honestly coming out of your shell and understanding your true worth. Um, and understanding your true worth in this you know, cog of machine that we call life. And just in general, I feel like you're going to start learning who, like who and why it is you are the person that you are. But more importantly, you're going to start understanding that you really do matter in this world. And I feel like your, your, your current situation is that you feel like you don't, you don't, it's not that you don't matter, but I feel like you think you aren't as an important puzzle piece to this puzzle as you think you are. Um, cause you are a very important piece to this puzzle. Um, I've already pre-shuffled your cards uh, for you, so uh, there's that, but I'm going to now lay your cards out for you. And then these are going to be key themes of the month. Yes. Okay. Once you get out of your shell, and I feel like you're getting out of your shell this month very, very quickly, and it's going to happen very rapidly for you. Uh, give me one moment. It was for my car's extended warranty. Um, <laughs> okay. So back to what I was saying. Um, was this one upside down or it was definitely upside down. Okay. Okay. So from the looks of it this month, you guys are going to be dealing with a um, committed partner that you've already experienced um, before, or this could honestly be a new connection as well. But I feel like for some reason, this is someone that you already know. Um, I feel like they're going to come to you with a love offer and it's going to be a love offer that's going to be very hard for you to refuse. Um, you're going to want to have an equal give and take with this person. You're going to want to actually give your love to this person um, after they give you this love offer. And I feel like it's going to be a love offer that is filled with a lot of emotion and filled with a lot of um, desperation and just filled with like, I promise that this time will be different. Um, I feel like there is a chance that a argument of some kind or even just a discussion of some kind could happen after this that could possibly end the commitment ship at a very you know early time and then you're going to have to rebuild after that or it could be that this you know discussion and this commitment ship actually makes it so that within you guys start building together but considering that i only see one bird here i feel like it's going to be you having to pick up the pieces after something like this happens um it's definitely going to feel like a turmoil of emotions. You are going to be very drunk this month. There's going to be wine this month. You're going to have bubble gum. Like it's going to be a fun, exciting new month for you in the sea of romance. Um, and I feel like the thing is, is that you understand your worth now this month. So these fun endeavors, these like unfulfilling endeavors are not as fulfilling as they once were because you don't need them for your self-esteem anymore. You just, you, now it's just kind of like, oh, it's there. So I guess I'll do it. Um, but I don't really need it anymore. So I don't really want to do it anymore. Um, you want to be taken out. You want to go on like fine dining situations. You want to have like a fun time, you know, and you don't want it to be purely sexual anymore. You want it to feel like it's taking time. Like it's like a, like a, like a glowing motion type situation. You want it to build. You don't want it to be fast or quick or anything. You definitely are going to have a romantic connection this month, but I feel like it's a romantic connection that is going to come to an end for you to be able to find the one that you truthfully want because you you want to be taken out to the point where you get to show off your feathers and you get to show off what it is that's going on and you don't you you want it to be 
fun and sweet like bubble gum, you know what I mean? But it's still something that can grow into something more. It's not just a piece of gum. It's 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 more than that, you know? It's way more than that. It's a it's a conversation piece. It's a it's something that freshens your breath. It's something that even just tastes good. Like you want it to be multiple things at once. You don't want it to just be Oh, like it's just a blank wall. Like it's just that, you know, whatever. You don't want that anymore. You don't want clean cut, like straight to the point. You want it to be a fun, exciting new adventure. You want to feel like, oh, like I don't know where this is going. Like I don't know the twists and the turns. But I do know for a fact that I am having fun and that I'm getting like everything that I want in the process. And it's definitely going to feel like you're not going to be as sexual as you once were in past months. Um, I'm not saying that you were in past months, but it just feels like that's the energy of past months. It feels like this month, it's going to be more in the endeavors of actual love and wanting to find love and commitment ship and wanting to find like an actual courtship that you can be in. Um, there's definitely a feeling of wanting to have someone and something new to talk about. Like, you want to feel like this wine feel. Like, you want their inner self to mix and conjoin with you, you know? You want it to be like this turmoil of emotions. You want it, You want to feel like you guys are becoming one with one another. Like, you want to feel like them, you know? She is learning more about her, about her fish man. So, then she could become more like her fish man. And she can start loving her fish man the way that her fish man wants to be loved. Like, you just want to feel like you're intertwined with someone. Like, you're, you're in a, in a beautiful harmony with someone. You don't want it to feel like, like, um, you just don't want it to feel boring. You want to, you want to feel... captivated you want to feel captivated and you want to feel taken care of and you want to feel like there's a reason for it you know there's a reason for this relationship to happen there's a reason why we are together like it's not we're not just together just to be together we're together because you know because of x y and z we're together because we love each other not just because like that's it like you just want to be in love with someone this month and I feel like you will find someone this month or you will let go of someone that doesn't serve you anymore this month because you you want to find that real person for you and I feel like for you to be able to do that is you need to go out more show your face more be more in tune with uh, how much of a treasure you truthfully are. Let people see you for who you are. I feel like you hide yourself a lot. You tend to shy away. and You tend to not really want people to know how it is that you truthfully are in your inner self. I feel like you do a lot of things for what, you know, society may think and for like outward view. But you don't do a lot of just you work. Like you don't like... Like when you talk to someone, I feel like you don't talk to them about your love for certain things because you're ashamed of those certain things or because you don't want to talk about certain things or because you just don't know if they'd be down for those certain things that you want to talk about. And I feel like this month is the month for you to start coming out of your shell more and start showing the true genuine treasure inside of you that you truthfully have. Um... Because you do. You have a beautiful pearl inside of you. And sometimes that beautiful pearl can be different colors. You know? And you just... You need to be the one to be able to open that mouth and to show the beautiful colors that can come out of it. What else? I feel like this is pretty much it. I mean... You just... A past connection is definitely going to end, and I feel like that will open the doors for a new connection to begin. But you're going to have to do a lot of building because I feel like you still have a bit of a fear of showing who it is you truthfully are. And I need you to not shy away because once you shy away, then how are you going to find the person that you want. Um, the song that just came up in my mind was uh, Daniel Johnson, True Love Will Find You in the End, which is a beautiful song, but there's a message in that song where true love will find you in the end. Um, just uh, find out just to with your friend. Don't be sad. I know you will. Because true love is searching too. 
true love will find you in the end. But then, this is a promise with a catch. Only if you're looking can it find you. Cause true love is searching too. But how can it recognize you unless you step out into the light, the light? And I feel like that's your problem, is that you're not stepping out into the light. You're not letting your connection see you for who you truly are. And so that's why it's been a very complicated situation for you because I feel like you tend to change yourself for your partners and for your commitment ships when all you should do is just be yourself and hope that you find someone that loves you for you. And you will find someone that loves you for you. But again, how do you expect to love to find someone that loves you for you if you're not being you when you meet these people? <laughs> um, okay, now let's get you some cards of advice. getting you some advice may I please get advice for cancer this month these are the only ones I'm shuffling on the camera because um, it only feels right Please get for cancers this month. cards for cancer. All right. Okay. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Um, yeah, I feel like you're going to have the opportunity of someone coming into your path and you're going to be too much in your mind to be able to decide whether you want to approach them or not and just listen to your intuition before you listen to anything else. If your intuition tells you to approach that person, approach them. If your intuition tells you to fucking leave that person alone, then leave that person alone. Um, I feel like you're going to start learning how to decipher which connections are worth your time and which ones are not before they even begin and that's what you need to do is that you need to know if it's worth your time before it even begins and I feel like you have a problem with doing that because you want to give people the benefit of the doubt you want to give people chances you want to give people you know just just different opportunities but if it doesn't work it doesn't work and only your intuition knows if it's not going to work or not you know because your intuition knows before anyone else knows Surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. I feel like the problem is, is that you're looking at things from a perspective of I don't have instead of the perspective of I will get. Um, you need to understand that you have the ability of getting everything that you want this month. You just need to be the one to do it. I feel like you keep thinking or hoping or wishing and praying that people will come to you and just hand you, you know, their love, hand you their admiration, hand you whatever. But how are they going to hand you that when they don't even know if that's what you're looking for? Um, you definitely need to be better at taking the first step in your life to be able to get to what it is that you want in your life. And I feel like you just are afraid of taking that first step because you don't know, but you do know your intuition knows you just got to listen to your intuition more. Um, and once you do that, you will find the person that you want to find. You will find that greenery. You will find that beauty, but you can't find that beauty until you start being you. You got to be you. 
like look at you you're wearing this beautiful gown and all it like you got to be yourself you got to be yourself this flowing beautiful creature and i feel like you just you're 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 too afraid to to let yourself go and to and to be genuinely you stop dumbing yourself down for people stop feeling like you need to change who you are for people because you just have to be yourself and i mean fully yourself like every every bit of weird every bit of quirky every bit of whatever you just got to be yourself and it, it it goes more than just appearance it goes to just the way that you act and the way that you communicate towards people i feel like you you have a hard time of communicating the way that you genuinely want to communicate and you know it's one of those things where it's like the only way for you to be able to find the person that is meant for you you got to communicate the way that you naturally communicate you can't change who you are for whoever it is that you're you're trying to get because then you're 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 building that foundation on lies baby girl and you don't want to do that you don't want to you don't want to build the foundation on lies but yes definitely forge don't follow um i would say have things be in your hands because that is when they come out the best for you um, and also surrender to the sweetness of life just in the sense of like it could be something as simple as like be excited that you found a quarter on the floor be excited that someone paid for your coffee you know at the line be excited that you that you have a cute outfit that day be excited of the conversations that you have that day like find things to be excited about and find things to be happy about no matter how big or how small they are um don't ever think that something is a negative thing. Don't ever think that something is something bad. Don't ever think that something shouldn't have happened this way or it should have happened that way because everything happens the way that it happens for you because that is what you chose to do with your day. If you had a really shitty day, you have to think back at what it is you did in that day. Did you find the outfit that you wanted to wear that day? No, okay, then you already started off on the wrong foot. Did you um, eat the food that you wanted to eat earlier that day? No, okay, then you already fucking started the middle of your day on the wrong foot did you actually get to go home and relax the way that you wanted to no okay then see now your ending of your day is on the wrong foot you have to think about things that way so you can make sure and understand that you are doing what you truthfully want to do and i feel like the the thing is is that even when you do things in the incorrect manner you don't know how to get yourself back up from that incorrect manner. So let's say you weren't able to eat what you wanted at lunch. Okay, then eat what you want for dinner. If you are not able to eat what you wanted for dinner, okay, then eat what you want for dessert. If you're not able to eat what you want for dessert, okay, then eat what you want for a snack later that night. Like there's many, many times in your day where you can rectify what happened in the earlier times of your day you know you have to stop thinking of things as just well that's it it's done it's over and now the rest of my day is fucking ruined you got to stop thinking of th shit like that because i feel like you think of shit like that and you got to not do that this month this month is the month to 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 see the beauty in all of it no matter how big or small and you also need to see the beauty in yourself no matter how big or small and you got to see the beauty within yourself and your inner being because i feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of outwardly confidence but there's not enough inward confidence there's not enough inside of you confidence you know like the oyster thinks that it's a very gorgeous oyster but it's not opening its mouth and showing us how beautiful it is on the inside um but yeah i feel like this month you just have to you have to become one with your beauty on the inside um because you, you you're doing great cancer okay you just you how do you expect to find love when you can't even show that person the you that you truthfully are, you know? Um, but yeah, you will find you will find inner peace and inner happiness this month, Cancer. Um, you just got to be the ones to go and look for it, okay? But yeah, all right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your reading this month, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye. Love you guys.